my friend, as I told you, numbers don't lie. And I used to say, people, you can say anything. As we said in the result, time will tell us. I have been published in the Neverland of Giants will be the equatorial of Mars or Brazil. But there's no way because it will be any, anybody that has good sense will extend because the upper Cretaceous worldwide source rocks has to be there and is there. Marcia, you, you, you also told me it took 102 wells before the Santos started to, to really work. 262. 262 wells. Yeah, 262 wells. And all the majors, imagine, tell me one company, all the majors, BP, Shell, Exxon, Total, any, all the majors drill there. All the majors drill there. And then you discover. And 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 and, and this is this is the this is the petroleum exploration. But people make a huge mistake. Why? Because Campos is totally different from Santos. If you look Campos, you, you, you have all the Cenozoic, all the Cenozoic turbidites, and in Santos you don't, because um, in Santos you have the Cretaceous turbidites. And then when people start to discover all these beautiful amplitude anomalies, it's a kind of like, you know, a Gucci bag. Has a nice Gucci bag. Everybody in the world goes to buy the Gucci bag. No, it's a fashion. The world is moving by fashion. And people, and, and easy, no? Because if you have a good seismic, uh, uh, you, you could see the amplitude anomalies. You could dry. You could drill and you could find oil, and we were very successful in campus and so on and so on. And, and we have also to say that um, it's not only knowledge, it's the technology about the seismic to see deeper. And you have to say, um, when, when the seismic imaging got better and managed to, to get the image, the deeper reservoirs and pre salt, move everything, technology to drill the salt. For you to have an idea, Petrobras, the first well, they spent $250 million. Today, they drill with $50 million because we learned the technology to drill through the salt. But um, you don't need to put 270 wells in a petroleum system that was not working. And, and if you remember, um, I published stuff in 2002, in, in, in 998, uh, that uh, we, we analyzed diamondoids showing that all the oils, they, they are full of diamondoids showing that, um, that the hydrocarbons were secondary cracking of oil that only could be below the pre-salt. Then the size moved. And, uh, and uh, the importance is that um, uh, I think that people uh, are starting to, to, to believe um, um, and, and, and to understand that um, if you wanted to succeed, we have to go deeper, not only in depth, but we have to go deeper in deep waters. Why? Very simple. Because for the reservoirs to be clean, they have to, you know, wash through this turbidite, through these canyons, to go to a place that they don't have all this volcanic ash or shales and so on that obliterated the turbidites. And also for the carbonates. And you see all these external hives in Brazil, and they are in Angola as well, where you have this deposition. Just to look at the basement highs of these microbiolites. When every time that you have a, a basement high, you can have a carbonate microbiolite in the in the rift section. And then, and this is the petroleum system. It's so simple. It's the elements, <laughs> and it's the process. And in both margins, we have we have the source. We have the reservoir, that's the turbidites and the carbonates. We have the traps and seals because evolution is the same. You have the temperature almost the same, although Africa is a little bit hotter than Brazil. Uh, and, 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 and you have time for migration and accumulation. Then this is just to drill. That's it. Marcia, tell us about uh, your AAPG, your memoir 124 the one that you launched at the last AAPG meeting in, in, in Denver. Uh, this was, I, I consider this to be a, 
you know, um, a, a very, very important publication. Uh, first, because it uh, was the first and the most up-to-date and the largest uh, publication of one of the most recent supergiant oil profits in the world about from Santos. And why I publish? I publish now, 2000. I started to thinking about since and, and 2019, but came with the COVID. And I went to Petrobras. I asked Petrobras, they don't want to participate. I went to all the whole, all big oil companies and asked them, they don't want to participate. Then um, I managed to, 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 to bring Shell, uh, to bring uh, Exxon, to bring Total. But all the others said, we do not have time. We don't want to because uh, it's, uh, it's uh, confidential stuff. And, and, and I said, my friends, uh, come on, there is 10 years. Um, if we wanted to, we have, we have the obligation to put technology because nobody knew anything. Zero. And I said, okay, if people don't want to do, I'm going to do. And uh, we did uh, an effort that um, without the APG personnel would be impossible. Barry Katz, Pinar, Beverly, uh, we convinced them to do the memoir. Um, there is no money for the memoir. Then my company say, we, we put the money because this is important. And we wrote 20 chapters. And the most update data and interpretation ever done in the basin. Instead of to sell, we published. If you go there, and, and you 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 find everything about all the giant fields. I I send you the, the if you read the chapter and and about all the reservoirs. You know the best guys from Shell write about the reservoir. The total guys we're going is a. It's a, it's a Barnett and Vergon, they are the champions about the reservoir. Uh, Brazilian um, Dolores is, 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 the, is the queen of the pre salt carbonates in Brazil. We have the best, I choose the best guys in the world. You have Gary Carney from, you know, showing all the, all the structural, Webster Moriak. Then I put, you know, um, the giants of the South Atlantic campus and Santos to write um, this memoir. And is making a significant contribution for the industry academia, because uh, there was nothing. And I think that now with this this book that has been launched and has been very successful, it's, it's 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 the same as the book that I say petroleum system of South Atlantic Margin in the year two thousand. That there was nothing, and in that book you say this was two thousand, and people came in for the pre salt. You know what I mean, and and the other stuff then. Um, to publish a book is, is a hard work, 500 pages of and, and, and data, because uh, and the good stuff that I, I, I get it, um, academia, I get the a &P, and then these people put the data. While a lot of oil companies doesn't like to show data, not to increase competition, but um, um, it's, 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 it's a fantastic to, to give an example what we have in the Southern Brazil, and people could get that and extend for the West Africa. And not only for that, from Pelotas Basin for Uruguay. You know what I mean? And also for the, you know, all the, 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 the deep water of Kwanz and so on. Then I think that is, 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 is our obligation from, you know, scientists and so on to, to because everything is about the data, Justin. Uh, interpretation. Everybody can say, oh, Namibia will be super giant. South Africa will be a super super giant. No, you, you, you show data. You know what I mean? Yeah. And people then believe and people go there and put the money. And one point that you put for me, that is the, you, you say, um, for instance, Kwanza Bay is north of the deep offshore fields um, um, are found in the pre-salt. Um, um, uh, it is isn't until the Congo Fund that we started to see important discovery in the Cenozoic. What's happened in this almost 1.5 thousand kilometers of coast uh, in, in deep, ultra deep offshore of Southeast um, African coastal basin? Is it possible to find super giant there? Yeah. Yeah. There is a completely scarce of data in the area. There's no well. All these areas are similar what you have in Campo Santo, Espírito Santo, then why not? If you look at my, my publications, I 
look for oils. The, the oils are the same. The petroleum system was the same. But I have to say to you, the data that I have up to now, uh, you have to mitigate risk. You, you have a trap and seal component. That is the main risk in this uh, Cenozoic stuff. But I guarantee to you, if you go to the deep water, you, you are going to find sand deltas of, uh, you know, 2,000, 3,000 square kilometers. No doubt, because when you look at the shallow water side, you see these huge canyons, canyons of uh, 200 kilometers. Come on, what do you have there in the in the back of the canyon? Where are, um, I, I used to say like that, uh, because in Brazil you have the Serra do Mar, and Serra do Mar was responsible for, you know, the mountains to put all the turbidite currents there. I said, my friend, in Africa in the past, you used to have Serra do Mar, but everything goes to the road, it goes to the ocean. In West Africa, you have huge turbidites. And I remember when I was talking about that and, and people started to drill and start to find the turbidites of uh, Congo. You know, all the turbidites, boom, 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 boom. Uh, and you say, what about the, 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 the why the, the pre-salt of uh, Angola has not been like in Brazil. Of course, if you study the, 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 uh, the rifting of the continents, how they split, they are asymmetric. And in Angola, they went really, you know, faster and, 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 and down than in Brazilian when we have a huge stretching. And there, um, you don't have too much high of the basements in which the carbonates will thrive. And then where you encounter the biomark or the, the microbiolites of the coquinas, you, you find in, on land, Cabinda. Cabinda is a pre-salt super giant field, but you don't find the external highs in, 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 in Angola uh, or in Congo with the abundance that you find up to now. In, in, in Campus and Santos and Espiritu Santo Bay. Then, and you say, well, but there is not, no, people has to, people has to put money. <laughs> where people are putting the money, where they are saying land of giants. And to, to say, where are the land of giants in the South Atlantic? I say in several places, okay? Um, where I put my, all my money, yeah. Namibia, Equatorial Margin, not forgetting Spiritus Santo Campus and Santos. You know what I mean? Marcia, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to chat to me and sharing some of your wealth of experience uh, with us. And, um, and I hope uh, we are able to talk again in the not too distant future. What we're doing is very, um, encouraging because uh, you are um you are bringing history you know and uh, we learn with history justin uh, people people have short memories and uh and uh, i think that the history uh, um we used to say the 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 key of the present uh, is the knowledge of the past and people forget history you know what i mean and and i think that this 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 is important because it also inspire people to not to be afraid to put their ideas forward.